गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन कैट ट्वेंटी टू डी आई एल आर स्ट्रैटेजी सो इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस वॉट आर दी टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू आर सपोज टू अटैम्प्ट वॉट शुड बी द थिंकिंग प्रोसेस वेन यू आर सेलेक्टिंग अ पर्टिकुलर सेट एंड वॉट आर द थिंग्स वी आर नॉट सपोज टू डू ड्यूरिंग दी एग्जाम एज वेल and in the end we'll uh, demonstrate uh, the strategy which we have discussed uh, using one of the uh, papers of cat 21 so let's begin so first of all uh, i'll talk about the cat uh, 21 dil score and percentile comparison so 60 marks was 100 percentile then 47 marks is 99 so 60 is almost unrealistical 20 correct out of 22 questions is so somebody who is practicing for 3 4 years could do it okay so let's let's not uh, think much about it 39 marks is 99.5 uh, this is a relatively acceptable range 40 45 okay and then 33 is 99 percentile then 27 is 97 24 is 95 then 20 is 90 then 14 is 80 percentile hmm 10 marks will give you 70 percentile and even if you score 8 you'll get 60 percentile now the logic behind explaining this is that you have to think about number of questions so here i'm talking about 13 questions 11 correct 9 correct 8 correct questions so if you are out of four sets there are uh, two sets of six question two sets of four questions if you select two easy ones which are a four marks uh, four question each then also you will score 95 percent so that should be the first target that we are focusing on is attempting those first two easy ones now which are those easy one that is something which we have to understand so thing is it's not very difficult thing to do means whatever your target is if you see in terms of questions it is a very small number you are trying to means get uh for more marks as in what i mean by that is let's say after two easy ones you have will have time to solve the third one as well then you can go into the third territory territory of 95 plus percent so now let's understand how will we uh, utilize our time okay so what should be the timeline Uh, you have forty minutes during the exam, so time assessment. So if you see, uh, if you you have to give every question, every set, a certain time to decide whether you want to attempt it or not. Okay. uh we will discuss that uh, why you should be giving the time so to understand to whether you want to attempt or not okay so you have 3 minutes for that let's assume now once you read the question then with means in the 3 minutes you will be able to read the all the information which is given before okay not i'm not talking about the additional information but about the case or about the graph the information which is relevant to solve a particular case okay uh, except the going into logical part okay so that is something which is 3 minutes easiest of the lot of okay, time to solve the easy easiest set this is 9 minutes generally i'm taking 9 to 8 to 9 but 10 minutes okay so if you see the easy one you you shall be able to solve it in 9 minutes okay including this this includes this time 
so additional six minutes you will be able to solve generally and that is uh, mostly the easy one uske baad mein moderate wala jo aayega that will take another let's say 12 minutes or so difficult one 15 minutes and most difficult very difficult the most difficult set the fourth difficult one that takes around 20 minutes so what you can understand is this is something which is a territory you should not be going you might be able to solve within early but this is something which is you should not be attempting so if you see add these numbers okay 9 plus 12 plus 15 is 36 plus 3 39 minutes मिनट्स सो डिफरेंट डिफिकल्ट वाले को आप लोग देख के अवॉइड कर रहे हो बाकी सबको सॉल्व कर रहे हो देन ऑल्सो यू लव थर्टी नाइन मिनट्स टू सॉल्व इनफ टाइम टू सॉल्व थ्री सेट्स ओके फोर फोर सिक्स फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन फोर्टी टू मार्क्स देन यू विल हैव नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एल प्लस इवन इफ यू टारगेटिंग दैट देन देन दैट इज वॉट यू आर लुकिंग एट इफ यू टारगेटिंग लेसर परसेंटाइज ऑल्सो then you know that you have to understand that you have enough time to solve the easy ones so take time in this okay no need to think that i am wasting time in assessing whether i should be solving or not so if you have read for 3 minutes don't worry you can it means give that much time and then move ahead if you are not able to trying to solve it so that is something which is uh i which you you should be keeping in mind 40 minutes although sounds very less but it is enough time given that we have just four sets to attempt and we have to pick two or three the easy easier ones so that should be the mentality okay now coming to the next part which i was talking about keep what are the things you should be avoiding na jo bolte sins kya hai sin is the f- and in the level of means as in complex means way in complexity mein missing the easiest one now this is something you ask everyone if you miss this then you are four question down right so loss of easy marks na jo ekdam move hum log ko स्पून फीड करके लड्डू मिलने वाला था दैट इज समथिंग विच वी आर अवॉइडिंग इससे भी बड़ा सन इज अटेम्प्टिंग द डिफिकल्ट वन और डिफिकल्ट और वेरी डिफिकल्ट वन अर्ली वॉट आई मीन बाय दैट इज यू मे हैव टू अटेम्प्ट द डिफिकल्ट वन और द वेरी डिफिकल्ट वन लेटर ऑन बट इफ यू आर डूइंग इट इन मीन अर्ली स्टेज then understand that first 15 minutes something you are not getting anything you will start building that anxiety no. and if you got me if for means if you get stuck then 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 you lose the confidence as well so this is something which is very very important you should be avoiding this at all the costs now time loss which is more imp- okay and that can hamper your confidence if not solved now which is pretty likely reason being you are coming for verbal section where you just read and uh, means done a lot of thing on comprehension but here you may have to apply your brain start applying your means uh, solve something so a, a different uh, domain altogether so that is something which you should be keeping in mind next okay now how do i assess or how do you i pick how to pick next is how to pick a set now especially in the initial stage in you know, a first two sets which are the one which should we should be uh in solving okay and what should be the process the first thing is read the info Now, give yourself enough time so that you are understanding everything. Then, if you are able to comprehend hundred percentage, I'm using a word from verbal. Okay, means interpretation or comprehension is hundred percent. Whatever written, you are understanding everything. Okay, this is what is meaning. Okay, and this is not putting any strain in your head. Okay, that 
it should not be a new concept which you are not applied anywhere though that is something which i mean by comprehension that not only you're reading it understanding it and then you you just have it intuitively you have in your mind also that i'll be able to apply this okay uh, and third thing is solving process should be clear what i mean by that is okay i'll make this table these will be the heading of the columns these will be the um, means rows and these are the values i'll put usme and how i will calculate some of the values or whether i have to do calculate the percentage so the solving process the step number 1 2 you you are totally understanding it what you are supposed to do the process step number 1 2 getting the answer step number 1 2 3 getting the answer it should not be the case that okay uh, step number 1 is this but then i have to apply the logic and think about it what will come okay then you are going into slippery slope that is ye yeah, that is something which can trouble you okay exam mein dikkat ho sakta hai isn't you might get stuck also now and if you are not able to solve then then that, that will become the second sin now so okay the easiest the easiest set obviously you will be able to understand and you will have the clarity of solving process so it's no brainer that you will be able to solve it so this is how you are supposed to pick a set okay. now which one to leave okay i'll write here also okay which one to leave which should set should i leave isn't third high I means most difficult one or not difficult one kaise pata lagega if you have less than 100 percentage comprehension what i mean by that is you are understanding it what is written in english but then your mind is not logically able to understand how i'll be able to apply that hai na application not clear okay next is not able to structure the information okay what i mean by that is you are understanding i mean not able to understand also or you are seeing that okay how i have to make the table okay what is the information i put it uh, what what kind of table i have to make if, you, if that is not clear or solving process is not clear then probably you have to leave it okay so that is that is something which you need to now one more important piece of information lot of people however you try that i'll not pick the difficult one okay but sometime it happens okay because in the exam you're seeing new type of question so you might get means start attempting a question which you should not have so how to make intervention so that you don't go into that zone where you you, you lose a lot of time so leave midway how do i decide whether i should a part leave particular set midway so i follow simple philosophy if i'm stuck for more than one one minute if i'm solving it solving it i'm getting some values i'm solving it we're getting some values it's okay i'm going in the right direction if i'm stuck for one minute for one minute okay i am not able to proceed or get any progress then boss you have stuck so leave immediately go and find an easy one because if you are trying means if you are not able to think through obviously uh, that time will increase increase the frustration will go okay. uh, generally you are not able to time this one minute also so what i i mean what how you can do it is if you you are getting irritated now how to time it is if you have that feeling of irritation leave this it so this is how you, you decide that how whether i should leave a particular set because you should not have attempted means should get stuck in a particular set for 15 10 15 minutes and without any result you know means not able to solve it that is something which you need to avoid so that's the reason i am giving this tip also finally topics what are topics we should be focusing on most of the cases most likely okay topics may di set will be the easy one 
mostly but again you are you are giving three minutes to assess you know, whether it's difficult or not so probably you can leave if you're finding it difficult to understand that this is funda remains the same structured lr this is our moderate one generally okay and then caselets caselets are the difficult or most or very difficult one because you are going into new territory new situation and then you have to solve it so this is how you do it so that should be in your mind and that's how you should proceed okay now whatever we have learned so far i'll i'll will try to use the the strategy for cat 21 ka paper okay uh, so we are not going to solve it completely we we'll just use the what what we have learned in solving the paper so this is a particular means so this is the first set in the exam was the first set let's see how we would have solved this one so we we are given a bar graph okay as i told you my initial inclination is boss this should be the easy one because wait a second i'll just enlarge it a bit Sorry for this disturbance again. So, uh, so my initial assumption is this is an easy one. So I'll start with that mindset. Uh, different bars in the above uh, diagram above provide information about different orders in various categories. The categories I can understand that are booked in first two weeks of September or first two for one client. The color and pattern of bar denotes the ship mode. First class, second class, standard class. Okay. Uh, the left end point of bar indicate the booking date okay and by right uh, hand uh, point indicate the dispatch date of order so here it's september 1 so this accessories may this one is like booking date and september 19 is the dispatch date that is what i can understand the difference between the dispatch date and the booking date measured in terms of number of days is called processing time so ek se leke 19 se matlab 18 days is the processing time For the same category, an order is considered for booking only after previous order of the same category is dispatched. No consecutive order of same category had category had identical ship mode during the period. मतलब यहाँ पे जब one से लेके nineteen में this is only single order. There are no break up of the order. Okay, the, that is what is written here. For example, there are two orders in furnishing categories during this period. Furnishing categories here, one is from one to five, another one is from five to eleven. uh the so first one was shipped in second class okay black one and the other was the green one is in the standard class uh, booked on september 1 dispatch on 5 second order was shipped in the standard class booked on the 5th and placed on 12th processing time was 4 and 7 i'm understanding everything so we'll attempt this everyone this is how you are supposed to assess whether you are if you are solving a particular question or not how many days between 1 and 4 both inclusive had no booking from this client considering all the above categories so 1 to 14 no booking days so this is first ko there is order second ko there is order third ko there is order fourth ko there is some order fifth ko there is some order sixth there is some order seven there is some order eighth is empty ninth nothing is starting Tenth, nothing is starting. Eleventh, nothing is starting. Twelfth, nothing is starting. Thirteenth, something is starting. Fourteenth, nothing is starting. So there are all together six days. So as easy as that. So that is why I'll tell the DI questions are easy. We have taken the time around three minutes to assess, and then we are solving it. Average processing time of all the orders in the category which has only one ship mode. So accessories, envelope, these are the only one which have one ship ship mode. One, two, eighteen, nineteen, eighteen, plus four, twenty-two. So average is eleven. Similarly, we can solve question number twenty-seven and twenty-eight also. So that is how we assess. That is how we solve. Now let's go to the uh, second set. Okay, here we are given that. Uh, Ten objects O one to O ten are distributed among uh, Amar, Bharat, Charles, D Disha, and Alice. Okay, five persons. Each uh, item went to exactly one person. Okay, uh, each person got two items, and this pair is called his or her bundle. Okay, so out of ten, 
सबके पास दो दो गया है कुल फॉलोइंग टेबल शोज हाउ ईच पर्सन वैल्यूज ईच ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो देर वैल्यूएशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ माइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एनी बंडल बाय पर्सन इज सम ऑफ द पर्सन वैल्यू ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इन बंडल अ पर्सन एक्स एन वी इज पर्सन वाई इफ एक्स वैल्यू वाई इज बंडल मोर देन एक्स इज ओन बंडल सो देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एन वी का कॉन्सेप्ट सो एक्स वैल्यू वाई इज बंडल मोर देन एक्स इज ओन बंडल ठीक है थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो रहा है फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाइपोथेटिकली सपोज अमर्स बंडल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओवन एंड ओ टू ओके एंड भारत से बंडल इज ओ थ्री एंड ओ फोर देन अमर वैल्यूज इज ओन बंडल एज थर्टीन फोर प्लस नाइन थर्टीन एंड भारत कंसिडर एज नाइन प्लस थ्री ट्वेल्व सो अमर डज नॉट एन वी बर्थ ओके उसका थर्टीन है उसको सामने वाले को ट्वेल्व मिला है तो चलेगा मतलब उसका जगह है ऑन द अदर हैंड भारत वैल्यूज इज ओन बंडल है सेवन प्लस फाइव ट्वेल्व एंड अमर बंडल एट फाइव प्लस नाइन फोर्टीन सो भरत एन वी इज अमर सो इफ यू सी दर इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एन वी ऑल्सो ओके एंड आउट ऑफ दीज फिफ्टी वी हैव टू सर्कल टेन ऑब्जेक्ट किसके किसके पास जाएगा तो आई थिंक दिस इज गेटिंग अ बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है ना दिस रिमाइंड मी ऑफ सेट विच आई प्रॉब्लम वी है क्लास दैट देर आर फोर पर्सन और फाइव पर्सन राइटिंग अज दे आर गेसिंग हु इज द विनर है ना and then uh, there is a graph which we have to select uh, row wise co- column wise uh, so that is the type of question this is given in your means b factica app also solution wise so वैसा sound kar raha hai i think this is something which will require thoda dimag lagana ki kaun sa kisme jayega logic required hai i'll leave this particular set so let's leave it we'll we'll go to the if we can find an easy one then it's okay otherwise we'll come to this one so within 2 to 3 minutes we have decided that i uh, will will not attempt this particular set okay next okay next set is game of combo is where two persons play against each other one of them wins and other loses there are no drawn combo uh, chang- chango games okay 12 percent participated in chango uh, championship they were divided into four groups ओके तीन 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 का ग्रुप है देखिए ए नाम डजेंट मैटर प्लेयर्स विद इन दीच ग्रुप हैड डिस्टिंग रैंकिंग गोइंग इन टू दी चैंपियनशिप विद इन द ग्रुप ओके सो दीज थ्री पर्सन विल हैव डिफरेंट रैंकिंग्स प्लेयर्स हैव नॉट लिस्टेड नेसेसरीली अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर रैंक्स इन ग्रुप स्टेज ऑफ द गेम सेकंड एंड थर्ड रैंक प्ले अगेंस्ट ईच अदर ओके विद इन द ग्रुप सेकंड एंड थर्ड रैंक विल प्ले ईच अदर एंड विनर ऑफ द गेम प्लेज अगेंस्ट द फर्स्ट रैंक प्लेयर इनका विनर फर्स्ट से खेलता है और फिर वो ग्रुप का लीडर बन जाएगा सेम थिंग विल हैपन फॉर अदर ग्रुप्स आल्सो ओके देन द विनर ऑफ द सेकंड गेम इज कंसीडर विनर ऑफ द ग्रुप एंड एंटर्स द सेमीफाइनल विनर ऑफ ए एंड बी प्लेस अगेन ईच इन द सेमीफाइनल ए एंड बी वाला ये एंड सी एंड डी एंड देन वी प्ले द फाइनल सो वन टू वन Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven matches are there. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this is how. Okay. So the structure, if you see, is more or less clear. Okay. So, and I, I see the information is not much. So probably we can solve it. Now let's try. Let's give it a go. Reason being, हम लोग को structure clear है. That's the reason we are trying to solve it. Okay. Chitra did not win the championship. Okay. अरुणा तो हम लोग इसको मिटा दिए बिकॉज दिस वॉट आई वॉज थिंकिंग है ना तो हम लोग सोचने वाला काम जो है वो कर लिए बट एक्चुअल सॉल्विंग विल विल डू इट हियर ओके अरुणा डिड नॉट प्ले अगेंस्ट आर एफ अरुणा और आर एफ से नहीं खेले बेस्ट डिड नॉट प्ले अगेंस्ट ब्रिंदा ओके सो मे बी अरुणा मीन्स आर एफ प्लेड विद समन एंड देन वॉन मीन्स प्लेड विद अदर पर्सन और मे बी अरुणा प्लेड विद दी Azul and lost and are played again. Okay. Aruna, Biju, Chitra, Deepen played three games each. Okay, Aruna played three games. Okay, and then Chit- Biju also. Biju either. Okay, Chitra either. Deepen either. So these people have played three matches. So within the group issue, no, there are two games. A means rank two three हो रहा था then one so these people the 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 from each of the groups A से Aruna means B से Biju and they they will go to the next round that is something which we are sure 
सो हम लोग को सेमीफाइनलिस्ट पता है है ना इन दोनों का सेमीफाइनल होने वाला है उनका किससे कैसा हुआ वो हम लोग को देखना है ओके तो दे आर गोइंग इन टू सेमीफाइनल अरुणा एंड बीजू विल प्ले इन द सेमीफाइनल चित्रा एंड दीपन विल प्ले द सेमीफाइनल लुक लुक एट इट वी ऑलरेडी नो द रिजल्ट ऑफ टू टू ऑफ दी मैचेस अजूल एंड चेतन प्लेड टू गेम्स ईच अजूल ने दो गेम खेला अजूल एंड चेतन ओके रिमेनिंग प्लेड वन गेम ईच सो रिमेनिंग प्लेड वन गेम ईच सो रिफ ओके अजूल बीजू ओके बीजू के अलावा थ्री गेम बीजू के अलावा ब्रिंदा ब्रिज एंड सी वाले में वी हैव छवि ऑल्सो दीपेन के अलावा डोना इन दे तो दे हैव प्लेड वन मैच तो वन मैच का मतलब क्या है इन दोनों में से वॉट वुड है इन दोनों में से एक से मैच खेला दीपन ने हरा दिया फिर दीपन का मैच हुआ जो बचा हुआ पर्सन है दोनों या दिप में से कौन होगा आई डोंट नो एंड देन ही गोज टू सेमीफाइनल दीपन दिस ईयर सेमीफाइनल ठीक है नाउ दे आल्सो प्लेड वन मैच ईच सो दिस इज वन आई हैपन विद दिस सेम ओके दैट चेतन एंड छवि so chetan has played two games na okay so chetan has played two games means chetan has to win against chavi chetan and then chitra is going to the within this match and going to the semi final the interestingly if you see chitra's first match second match chitra has to play third match so she is the winner of this match also so she is going to final okay दीपन ने एक मैच खेला दो मैच खेला तीन मैच खेला हार गया कुल ओके नाउ दे हैव प्लेड वन मैच सो अगेन व्हाट वी हैव टू डू इज सिमिलर टू दिस स्ट्रक्चर एज दीपेन का हुआ था हम लोग इसका भी स्ट्रक्चर बना देंगे सो बी एंड ग्रुप बी एंड डी इफ यू सी वी हैव द सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड देन ब्रिज विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट राउंड सॉरी बीजू ओके Azul has played two games, so what will happen is, in दोनों का match होगा, फिर Azul will play against Aruna, Aruna will go to next round, Aruna will move to the next round, Aruna, because her first game, second game and this third game, है ना? Now Chitra did not win, so obviously Aruna win. We know all the games that is done. So thing is, we could find the structure. That's the reason we could solve it. We we could understand the structure. and the information was sufficient to solve all the questions next the fourth set so if you see till now if you have used this approach you would have taken maybe solve karne ke liye 10 10 to usko reject karne ke liye 3 more minutes 23 minutes 25 minutes ke around you have solved two sets now you are in the territory that okay whichever you get this one or the other one you have to solve it Ravi works with an online food delivery company. Uh, after each de delivery, Ravi rates e on each of the four parameters. Blah 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 blah. In the total twenty, uh, if the total four, uh, total of the four rating points are twenty or fi uh, five or more, Ravi gets a bonus of twenty for that delivery. Additionally, a customer may or may not give Ravi a tip, and if customer tips, he gets thirty or fifty only. One day, Ravi made uh, four deliveries. Each of the uh, Atal Bihari Chirag and Deepak received a total of 120 in bonus and tips. He did not get bonus or tip from the same customer. Means either is getting a tip or bonus. So it can be 50, 50, 20, or it can be 30, 30, 30, or if it cannot be 20, 20, 30. Uh, sorry, 20, 20. 3 percent means he cannot get rating more than. 25 and 3 of the quarters because 20 20 20 plus 50 will be 100 only so we have to keep this thing in mind now we we have additional information so now what you can see is four parameters are there four persons are there so 4 by 4 16 term parameters means uh, 16 uh, data points are there unko aapko solve karne hai 
so let's start now if okay so so if you see again this one will require you to think now uh, Ravi received a total of 21 points so what do you need to do is you have to split those points and start thinking about it again so uh, we can give it a go either this one or this one so yeah at this point of time you you know that aapko do bana liya hai ab in dono mein se ek ko karna hai if you feel comfortable with this one then you start solving this one or else you go to this uh, the other set but that is something which you have to uh, decide based on your familiarity level no so this particular case no uh, we, we can see that uh, there are uh, four parameters behavior packaging hygiene and timeliness and then we can have total also and the persons are atal bihari chirag and deep okay now he received a total of 21 points three of the customer gave him the same rating in this parameter atal gave him higher ratings than bihar and bihari and chirag so there are two possibilities four 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 nine और फाइव 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 सिक्स क्योंकि जो ज्यादा वाला है वो सिंगल है ना तीन लोगों का सेम है और एक का कम है तो इट कैन नॉट बी सिक्स 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 थ्री दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड सेवन 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 भी नहीं पॉसिबल है जीरो हो जाएगा किसी को तो आई दीज ऑफ दीज टू में से होगा रवि रिसीव डिस्टिंग रेटिंग पैकेजिंग फ्रॉम फोर्थ फोर कस्टमर्स एडिंग अप टू ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी देखो इफ यू सी If I start from uh, means backward nine eight seven six. If you add these, the sum is thirty. If you have to have distinct numbers, the numbers have to be these numbers are five, seven, eight, nine. So that is what we we'll have for package. Now, okay. Next, Zavi received a distinct point in hygiene and adding up to twenty six. Now again, we we need different numbers. So in that case, uh. हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं सबको एक एक काम कर लेते हैं तो फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट तीन दी ज्यादा तो सम इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स चिराग गिव सेम राइटिंग फ्रॉम फोर पैकेजिंग एंड हाइजिंग इनमें से या तो सेवन होगा या एट होगा या फाइव भी हो सकता है अमंग फाइव फोर कस्टमर्स बिहारी गेव हाइस्ट रेटिंग इन पैकेजिंग पैकेजिंग में बिहारी ने हाइस्ट रेटिंग दिया तो दैट हैज टू बी नाइन ओके And Chirag gave highest rating point in hygiene, which is eight. Okay. Everyone rated uh, Ravi between five and seven in behavior. Unique maximum minimum in this parameters are Atal and Deepak only. So Atal ne seven diya hai. Okay. Deepak ne five. Baaki dono ne six six. Okay. If the customers are ranked based on ratings given by them in individual parameters, then Atal's ranking on packaging is same as the Sorry, when we, did we miss something? Chirag also gave high, uh, highest in the. Okay. Hmm. Chir. Okay, this is something which we have missed earlier. Chirag gave same rating for packaging and hygiene. Okay. So if this can be, this is also eight. Okay. If we rank customer based on individual parameter, adults rank on packaging is same as that of hygiene. So either he has given five five, or in that case hmm, here. Means five five or maybe seven six. So this number we can definitely say is seven, isn't it? Because in both cases, we lower two numbers can come. So either these are five five or six uh, seven six. Okay. Now this is all. That's it. We we don't have any much information. Means that, that means we we know. Its sum is twenty one. That is only thing we know. Now we have to start solving it. So only thing which we have missed or not used so far is this information that 120 may bonus or tips should be. That means so uh, if rating is more than 20 means 25, then that person will definitely get the the 20 tips. So 6 plus 9 plus 2 if you see is uh, this is already 16. 16 may we will add something else. Then we will add 16. 22 may we add something else. Then we will add something else. रेटिंग अच्छा मिल रहा है ट्वेंटी डिलीवरी के लिए मिलेगा सेम थिंग ट्वेंटी वन इसको भी मिलेगा पक्का तो दीज टू केसेस आर डेफिनेटली देयर कि इसको मिल रहा है तो मतलब इन दोनों को हम लोग को रेटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव से कम रखने का अदरवाइज हम लोग को वन ट्वेंटी बोनस में नहीं आएगा 
that is something which you have to keep in mind okay so if i write 9 here to whatever number we put this one will get the uh, means atal will have also had greating more than 25 so definitely what we need to do is we have to write 6 here this will become 5 5 5 now between 5 5 and 7 6 we have to keep number if i write 7 6 then again number will become 26 which is not which should not be the case so i'll write 5 5 7 6 and then we can solve it now obviously i know means i've solved it before so i know this kind of solution but still it's a tricky case compared to the first two we have solved okay so that is that is something which you have to keep in mind now coming to this one uh, this is as i told you this means now that this is the difficult one and after solving the other one we, we can definitely say that probably this is the difficult of the most difficult of the lot Chale, let's start if someone values uh, an object 10 he or she has received that object so this is definitely there we'll cross these two other than this is also definitely there okay o1 o2 o3 are given to different three different persons o1 o2 o3 three different persons o1 and 8 o8 are given to two different persons okay this is also i'll keep in mind three person value their bundles at 16 no one value his or her bundle higher than 16 16 ke liye this this is possible so 16 is jada nahi ho sakta so i am crossing these numbers i'm crossing this one also i'm crossing these two numbers also okay so if means bharat ke liye in dono ke liye 16 16 ho sakta disha values are bundled at an odd number all other numbers are even so even odd even 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 okay some value okay so this has to be now if you see uh, bharat has to be even that means these numbers are not possible 10 ke saath mein combination mein so this is the other number so yahan pe bhi i'll cross so, these numbers are not possible okay uh, some people who value their own bundle less than 16 and we some other people who value their own bundle at 16 no one else envies others now this information is very important okay as means again i know the solution that's the reason i can tell you amar ke case mein dekho o7 and o10 mein the sum is 17 so even if you get 16 you know so if so he will have envy bharat so that should not be the case so this is not 16 this has to be less than that so what we can say is 16 the other three are 16 and this one is lesser than 16 so what I can say is this is definitely 6 cross okay so 16 is not going to happen either we ye cross okay. Okay. now O1, O3 this Amar, Bharat and Charles in three of them will take someone now what we can say is this is not 16 so this will have some other value maybe not means uh, thinking about it much Okay, now Charles can get only 16 if O1, O3, O1, O2, O3 may say one of the eights and O8 will also be taken by him or him. So if we'll circle this, we'll cancel these three. Okay. So now we can cancel these numbers also. Okay. So Charles can take one of these eights. Now, now since uh, Charles is taking O8, so he cannot take O1. So we are left with these two numbers again. Now between these we, we can check whichever one we will get. Now here again uh, we can apply the logic of bundling and, uh, and then we can solve the question. So muta muti this is what we, we are supposed to do and, uh, that whichever who have, who will get the, uh, the, the numbers. So the basic logic I already explained. So what you need to do is to understand that you solve the uh, easier one okay and here also uh, the, the logic of means uh, if, if you want to solve completely then we can apply the lo uh, again a logic of NV also so this is obviously not possible 17 okay here we need some odd numbers so one of the eights and one of the five or three will be there okay so 
if I take 4 then this will become odd so this is also not possible so Disha will definitely have O1 because 4 ke saath mein koi bhi odd combination Amar will not have it so Amar is definitely one of these 2 and 3 so 12 raega sum is 12 and okay so if I take 9 and 3 these 2 okay so he will have this one okay in that case okay uh, he'll envy uh, this thing envy uh, Disha because uh, she is getting less than means uh, uh, sorry wait a second mm, people okay you, you cannot envy someone who is less than 15 okay so if let's say he is getting these two then what will happen is he's numbers is 12 only but Disha's number will be uh, 12 uh, 11 which is fine okay so wait a second I'll cross these two. first of all okay mm. in bacha, ke paas mein option haan. so if I take let's say 9 and th uh, 3 again okay, then Disha's number are uh, 8 and 3 which is fine if I take these 9 and 3 Disha's number are uh, so these 9 and 3 Disha's number are 13 so he will envy uh, Disha which is not possible so uh, he should not means uh, for someone who is less means less than 16 no one should envy that person so that that is something which we should keep in mind now that is the reason if we can put it here okay in that case this is 06 and then that is all and then we can solve the questions remaining questions so definitely a difficult one nah, not easy to understand logic and solve it but anyways so the, the, the approach is we have to find the easy one first two easy are very easy third one is also relatively easy nah, always always look for uh, in that order only you will feel a lot more confident going into first sec second set third set and in the last set also you will probably be able to solve some of the questions and maybe you can go down and see with limited information what we have already solved whether you can mark some one or two questions that that is something which will be bonus for you so that is how you are supposed to approach i'll just recap what we have discussed understand you are supposed to think about number of questions okay two sets even small one will give you 95 percentile three sets you are going above 95 percent 99 percentile so that should be the thinking okay even if you solve one set okay then you will have 70 percentile plus so understand this and go confidently solve the easy ones and that is how you should deal with the dilr section thank you very much all the best.